Well, the first one is, of course, travel. Uh, nothing opens one's eyes m more than the ability or you know necessity to take oneself out of one's comfort zone. So whether one is working at a multicultural, multinational organization in Singapore or elsewhere, uh, somebody who has done a lot of traveling and has been stranded in a MRT in the middle of the night, not being able to understand the signs, should be able to understand the difficulties that foreigners face in their own environment as well, uh, which I think is essential to developing a degree of empathy, again, in an environment where people speak in different languages, bring different values and ethos and work practices. Um, so that I think is very important, that if you travel, the world seems friendlier, if you don't and stay in your own cocoon, the world seems rather alien and hostile. Uh, the second one would be uh, the, the importance of teamwork. Uh, sometimes, especially in the tech industry, uh, if one is tasked with something very specific, it can be a rather solitary job where one is um, staring at a screen all day long. Maybe there are some Zoom calls here and there, but by and large, a solitary job. I think it's very important to try to extract oneself away from that solitary setting and be part of a bigger team where there is daily banter, the daily targets, or even weekly uh, objectives to meet, where again, one feels part of a family. So regardless of the scope of the job, I think it is very important for somebody who is a young manager or an aspirational manager to start building networks within an organization through teamwork. Um, and this sometimes is not that easy. Depending on the work one has, uh, companies have silos, companies have you know, hard lines, reporting lines from one place to the other, and this is where uh, initiative comes in. Uh, running into a superior who is not aware of me or my work and showcasing what my team or I am doing to them could very well open up opportunities for cross-pollination of ideas or a transfer or a job that is cross-departmental. Initiatives like that are highly rewarded by organizations, but those sort of initiatives can never be prescribed. It has to be something one has to seek out. Uh, you know, nobody is thinking for you when you join an organization what sort of you know, cross-pollination you can do given your skills and your abilities. And that's something that you know, and by keeping your eye open, being friendly, being open, uh, attending uh, sessions where you're not supposed to play any role whatsoever, but you're welcome because it's an open session. I think that's the sort of s stepping stone that one has to uh, pursue and, and then let things follow. But again, these are initiatives that have to be self-generated. No supervisor, no HR is going to spell it out for that aspirational staff. And finally, and I think this has echoes with the first issue, but not really related to travel, but just related to day-to-day -day work practices, is to, again, start developing deep empathy, not just for peers, but also for subordinates. Um, as we sort of move through our career, it is so easy to fixate on the surrounding. And the surrounding is who's my competitor, who's my peer, who's my collaborator, and of course, who are my superiors that I need to impress and keep on my good side. And, and in this sort of you know desire to go forward it is so easy to ignore those who are not going to benefit you directly which is your subordinates people who take your instructions but somehow it is so imperative to understand that it is the contribution of the subordinates that make us what we are because without my assistant you know booking my flights and arranging my visas without the uh, support uh, network that creates my publications and arranges my schedule, uh, my day-to-day -day work does not at all have chance of success. And hence, empathy toward those who work for us, uh, those who rely on us for their bonuses and for their career progress is extremely important. And this is something, I suppose, at a senior level, uh, there are a lot of HR workshops that are drilled into, but I'm really thinking about the younger officials or staff or professionals who have aspirations to become managers who are still not privy to those high level trainings and that are organized by human resources that target high potential employees but things that you know one needs to build as an ethic work ethic if you will from the day one was starts working because as a professional who has come from grad school or mba school there will always be people who will be subordinates and to work with them on a collegial basis 
and not take them for granted, I think builds an enormous reservoir of goodwill that holds one in very good stead over the long run. So I think it's super important. <laughs>